So you wanna enhance your shot? Well sit tight, cause I'm about to teach y'all how to do this effect right here. You do need a third party plugin. You need Bang. I got the link down in the description. And also I have an overlay that I'll be using from time to time. So I'm gonna provide that in the description as well. So don't worry, you still gonna be able to uh, get this effect. So just tap in. So let's get this started. Once you know where you wanna shoot, just go to layer, new, add an adjustment layer. Once you have the adjustment layer, just crop it down just a little bit. And I want you to add bang. Once you add the effect, just change the place and aim from 2D to 3D. Then I want you to play with the sweep and the tilt intensity until you get the tip of the muzzle shot facing the camera. Now I want you to grab the target from the 3D position and just place it right in front of the artist's hand. So now we can scroll down and start to play with these panels. These instructions aren't mandatory, but you can change the sparks to around five. Now you could come down and play with the glow settings. Those give you some cool results. You can put this up to what you choose. You can up the size, fall off, come down to the interactive light and just change the light map to the footage. And now you can also toggle with these settings below it. The light size, the restricted matte, and the shadow fill. You want to make sure that muzzle flash is giving light to the hands and the face of your subject. And now let's come up to the keyframer. Let's change that six to one because we're doing a pistol. Now let's come down to the flash shape. This is low key tough. You can just grab the points on the graph. You could play with those or you could even use one of the presets that they provide. You choose. Now I'm gonna add a couple of flash pedals. Once I choose a couple of these flash pedals, I'm gonna come down to the pedal shape profile. I'm gonna fix that up. I'm gonna make it look a little smaller because you know, it's, it's not like we shooting a lot of shots at one time. So let's, yeah, let's make a small little star. Now I'm gonna come down to the flash properties and change the flash color. I'm gonna go for something a little more orange. Now you can come down to the flash age, make a keyframe. Then you could come to the beginning of your adjustment layer and just change that value to zero. Now I want you to scroll up to the trigger, make a keyframe, and then I want you to take that same keyframe and just have it hover over the flash age. And make sure you save your work cause I just crashed. But now we're gonna make a depth map to kind of give us a cooler result when it comes to our flash. So it's not flashing up the entire screen. So I want you to add an adjustment layer and then I want you to duplicate your footage and just trim it down to the size of the shot. You know, in anything in life, if you want it, you could get it. You just gotta find a way. But we're gonna use depth scanner or quick depth, whichever one you have to make this depth map. Now I want you to add a Gaussian blur to get rid of the sharp edges. Now I want you to grab Sapphire's brightness effect. Now hit the ink drop tool and choose like a little of that orange whitish area and use the and use the depth map layer, which is the one we just made as the mask. Now I want you to change the hue shift from 0.04 to 0.07, invert the map, and then change the saturation and the brightness to like 1.2 or 1.5. Or you can just copy these settings right here, you know what I mean? But I, I advise y'all to just stay in between those numbers. <laughs> Now I want you to add an optical glow. Don't mind the keyframe that I'm about to add. You really don't need this, do not mind it. I need you to come down and play with the highlights only. Also the size of it. And you wanna have the amount at only about like uh, maybe 40%. Now I want you to press T on that same layer. Hit the stopwatch at the very first. Frame your shot, come into the middle and bring it down to zero. Hit F9 on your keyboard. Then you could come into the graph mode. Just ease it out like that. Feel me? Got a nice little swaggy flash there. Now we're gonna swag this up. I'm gonna drop some heat on y'all. Uh, this is a gun smoke. I'm gonna just provide this file in the description. Hopefully I don't get sued, but here it is. Once you obtain that gun smoke, I want you to drag it in your project file and just crop it to the size of your clip. Once you do that jazz, you're just gonna add a simple curves effect to that. And you're just gonna make it match your scene. And then you're gonna press T, lower your opacity. Now use the transform values to position the smoke. Now right click on the smoke layer and scroll up the time, enable time remap. Now make a new keyframe and increase the values. So now you got a little bit of smoke there, but it's not lingering for too long. Then you wanna hit P on your keyboard and let's just hit the stopwatch and position this smoke every couple frames. And now I'm gonna add a shake. But before I add that shake, I'm just gonna jump into all of my layers and I'm gonna fix a couple of my uh, keyframes, fix a couple of my values, just so I'm getting this to look exactly how I want it to look. 
As you can see, I jumped into the bang and I dealt with some of the scaling and shit like that. So yeah, like I said, it's a personal preference, but come on, let's rock out. Now I'm gonna add my shake presets. This one comes out of my Drill Essentials V2 pack. And when I apply that, I'm just gonna get rid of all of the excess bull crap besides the S shake. I'm gonna take out the glow, the exposure, all of that good jazz. And then I'm gonna lower the value on the altitude and I'm gonna call this a day. I just really wanted to give y'all like more of a realistic looking muzzle flash other than you just slapping an overlay on the screen and calling it a day. So now you have some lights coming off the subject as well as lights in the background, you feel what I'm saying? Oh so yeah, bro. For the ones who don't have bang, if you use these same settings, right? Hold on, let me just turn off that flash real quick. If you bring your own muzzle flash in here and you just track the position, right? And you have it in between these same exact layers in the same order, you should be good. It's gonna give you the same result. You just might have to play around with the colors and the glow and stuff like that, you feel me? But yeah, man, no, honestly, I had fun making this tutorial. Also, y'all gotta go check out my boy Jungle Baby. She be going crazy. Also, I want y'all to go tap in with my boy Trap, bro. I don't know if y'all been really listening to these tutorials, but if you really pay attention, I always got a heat beat behind it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, definitely just been holding it down. I got damn near a whole EP full of beats ready to use for tutorials. But if you want more tutorials like this, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna be back tomorrow. You feel me? Peace.